So what brings you here? Well, basically, after 5th of August uh, uh, 2019, uh, India has uh, changed the special status of occupied Kashmir by abrogating Article 370 and 35A. And since then, uh, they have uh, they are changing the demography of occupied Kashmir. They have given fake demosiles to 4.2 million Indian Hindus. They are changing the delimitations, uh, the constituencies of occupied Kashmir. Although all parties, Urit conference always boycotted those farcical elections because. So now Indian citizens can buy property. Yes, they they are giving them rights now. So the situation is getting very grave and moreover the human rights violations are at peak in occupied Kashmir. So basically I took uh, this visit to apprise the international community. I went to Turkey, I went to uh, Belgium, I went to in that European Parliament, I went to uh, British Parliament, where there were about 50 members of Parliament. And uh, then I came to New York, where I had a meeting with a political assistant, uh, Secretary for Political Affairs of the Secretary General. Uh, I had a meeting with Khalid uh, Swari, and uh, then I met with the uh, Assistant Secretary of Human Rights. At the State Department. No, I'm talking about the United Nations. United Nations. And here, here I just Washington. arrived uh, last night. And who, who do you plan to I meet? met already today with the Senator of Maryland. I met with the leaders of occupied Kashmir at Pakistan Embassy mm -hmm. just to know about the, because they know more than us what is happening. So they, are, they are here, they are visiting Washington. Who? Leaders of occupied Kashmir. Yes, the, who are already here. Oh, those who live here. All those okay. doctors, so, mainly. So I had a meeting with them already. Today. And you plan to meet people at the State Department? Or the I Department. intend to meet somebody tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I would like uh, some meetings are fixed uh, do, with do the you, congressman as do well. Do you think that economically weak Pakistan can promote the Kashmir cause? Well, Pakistan is still doing their best what they can. Of course, there are some issues in Pakistan. Blood scam, economic situation, and other things. But still, uh, Pakistan, in whatever position is, always support and they will support. Kashmir. But don't we need to build Pakistan's economy to promote the Kashmir cause? Yes, we, we, look, we Kashmiris always pray for the stability of Pakistan. Because I think uh, Kashmir will only get liberation when Pakistan is strong and stable.